Hello everyone. I hope you and your family is safe and doing well. My name is Sadash Shrivastava and I head ETF products at Mira Asset Mutual Fund. In this video I'll be talking about a new NFO which we are coming out with. In fact we are coming out with both ETF as well as the fund of fund which will track the Hang Seng Tech Index. I'd like to first talk about Chinese economy as well as the tech segment. The Chinese economy has grown from 6.1 trillion dollar in 2010 to 14.7 trillion dollar in 2020 and it is right now the second largest economy of the world china has continuously adjusted itself in order to find new growth engines so for example the earlier growth was due to the focus on low cost manufacturing heavy industrial activities but in last 15 20 years it has in a way realigned its approach and has started to focus more on the technology because in a way if you have to move towards a higher income economy tech and innovation is something which typically helps a country achieve that the focus on tech as i was mentioning has has ensured that digital and tech contribution in the economy increases if we can bifurcate tech uh segments you can talk about one which is soft tech which provides you products and services which is probably intangible in nature let's say like social media e-commerce etc and then there is hard tech which provides you tangible products like semiconductors 5g internet of things etc in last 15 years the momentum has been more on the soft tech side because the chinese government focused on increasing the internet penetration bringing more people on the internet platform ensuring that people start using services like e-commerce mobile payments etc and what that has done is that that has helped the soft tech companies grow phenomenally right now the entire internet base of china is around around 1 billion which is more than india and us put together out of those 1 billion people almost 80% people use mobile payment which is the highest penetration uh, compared to any other country globally uh, apart from that also if you look at the data almost 750 million people are e-commerce users more than 400 people are ordering food online more than 880 million people uses online video games so the penetration and the sheer domestic consumption has led soft tech growth significantly on the hard tech side which i mentioned is basically creating those tangible products like semiconductors etc china is now focusing on it a lot especially based on the new five year plan where they want to focus on core technologies like artificial intelligence internet of things uh, cloud computing 5g networking etc and they plan to invest almost 1.4 trillion dollar in next 5 years till uh, 2025 to create an ecosystem uh, an innovative ecosystem around the hard tech also so in last 15 years china has allowed soft tech companies like alibaba mitwan tencent etc to grow and to become domestic champions their policies and procedures were not regulated significantly which allowed them to obviously have a lot of independence on how they were conducting their businesses now after these soft tech companies have grown some concerns have been raised around the around these policies and practices especially around uh competent uh, competition uh, uh, which they are able to suppress using their uh, different tactics right uh, uh, data security consumer rights vendor rights etc and this is not something which is which is very specific to china look at us look at europe same sort of concerns around anti competitive practices around data security around consumer rights have been raised let's say on amazon google etc what surprised people was a change in these stance that till now they were being allowed to grow 
based on their own uh, on own policies and procedures and now the regulator is coming strongly and asking them to mend their ways so that there is a there is a common prosperity for everyone not only just for the soft tech companies but for the customers also and for the vendors also but this pace and ferocity with which this regulatory actions has been taken against these soft tech companies has surprised the market because of which uh, there was a correction there has been a correction of almost 40% in in the market price of these companies uh, and which po possibly creates a very good uh, investment opportunity in these soft tech companies on the hard tech side as i mentioned china is focusing a lot a lot of investments are happening so the growth potential is more and on the soft tech side the valuation typically is looking attractive as of now now let's talk about the index uh, the hang seng tech index is managed by hang seng indices it consists of 30 largest technology companies which are listed on hong kong stock exchange and are deriving revenues from greater china region in order to be a part of this index the company should have high business exposure to one of the following themes, which are internet, including mobile, financial technology, cloud, e-commerce, digital, or autonomous. So the company should also meet one of the following criteria, which is that either it should be conducting business on internet or mobile platform, or it should have R&D expense to sales ratio of more than 5%, or a YOY revenue growth of more than 10%. The companies which are shortlisted are finally selected based on their market capitalization, these 30 companies, and the stock cap of 8% is applied so that there's no significant concentration risk in the portfolio. Now, this very interesting methodology has, has achieved a very interesting portfolio so if you look at the portfolio we are talking about it capturing the tech giants of east across the tech domains for example the top holdings include mitwan tencent cherry.com kwaisho sunny opticals alibaba xiaomi etc so through this single portfolio you are getting exposure to these 30 companies which are involved both on the hard tech side and on the soft tech side if you can bifurcate again there is there are growth opportunities because of the substantial uh, possible investments on the hard tech side and there's an opportunity in this portfolio because of possible correction in the soft tech companies the the portfolio as a whole uh, consists of very interesting companies the tech giants of 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 Chinese economy, uh, which are involved in, in multiple tech domains from the hard tech to soft tech uh, and portfolio because of the stock cap is, is well spread out uh, uh, in terms of weightages across, across 30 companies. So investor uh, can invest in this particular fund if he or she uh, from a risk point of view is comfortable with the volatility of the Chinese market, wants to take exposure in this fund because either uh, from a long-term point of view, these companies have potential to do very well, or from a short-term point of view, you want to take advantage of the current valuations of this particular index. Uh, and just to conclude uh, on, on, on the index part, as mentioned, that please do understand your risk profile as well as the uh, risk factors which affect uh, this particular fund before going ahead and investing in, in this NFO. And like I mentioned that we are going to launch both ETF as well as fund of fund. ETF will directly invest in the underlying stocks, whereas the fund of fund will be investing in the ETF. Now, ETF trades on exchange. If, if an investor is comfortable with buying and selling ETF units on the exchange, then he or she can choose that product uh, as, an, as an investment medium. Or if a person do not have a DMAT account, 
he or she wants to use a normal mutual fund route, wants to do SIPs, STPs, etc., then he or she can choose the fund of fund as a investment route to take exposure in this particular portfolio. The NFO for both ETF as well as fund of fund opens on 17th of November. For ETF, it closes on 29th of November. And for the fund of fund, it closes on 1st of December, 2021. The allotment date is 6th of December for the ETF. And for the fund of fund, it is two days later on the 8th of December, 2021. The listing for the ETF will happen within five working days from the date of allotment. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe. Goodbye. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.